meteorologist Gib Brown. And a little bit of that storm system is moving our way. We're going to see some showery uh, pattern develop uh, later in the week. But overall, things are a little bit cooler than normal, but a beautiful day, 62 degrees. We should be up closer to 70 degrees at this time of year. But hang on, we'll be there tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. Temperatures right now fall back into the 40s for at least most of us. Burlington still a mild 52 degrees, but a lot of areas up around Derby and uh, Jay. Temperatures are dipped into the 40s, and temperatures are now in the low 40s in places like Saturday. Saranac Lake. This is where we're going to see some frost overnight tonight and uh, starting off with frosty conditions early in the morning. But overall, things are on the quiet side and tomorrow is going to be a spectacular day. You can see those clear skies right now. We do have uh, some showers well off to our west, but they're going to continue to move to the north. It's part of a warm front complex that's going to be scooting across the region. Now, what's going to happen tomorrow is we're going to start out with sunshine, but we're going to quickly fade behind some high, thin clouds and then temperatures a little bit warmer than and what we saw today should be close to 70 degrees, a little bit better than that uh, in the immediate Champlain Valley. And then these showers will arrive on Monday. And uh, at times it will be uh, pretty heavy and steady across portions of the region. But overall, here's what's going on. A cool start to the day tomorrow. And uh, we're going to start off in some areas in the 30s. But this complex is going to be moving in our direction. It's going to spread high thin clouds in here in the morning, late morning in the Champlain Valley. Those clouds will thicken up later in the afternoon. I don't think we're going to see any precipitation until about midnight on uh, Sunday, Monday morning, and then this complex goes through and then an area of high pressure comes in after Monday to dry us out. So Tuesday's looking like a pretty decent day. And then this frontal boundary is going to be moving our way for uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And we're going to be dealing with some showers from that point on. So it looks like a rather damp week except for tomorrow and Tuesday. Those are the two picks of the week, I think. Anyway, Tonight, clear skies, no problems at all. Clouds coming in late morning over the western portions of the Champlain Valley. High, thin variety. They thicken up during the afternoon. Possibly a shower places like St. Lawrence and Franklin counties late in the afternoon and early evening. But the showers hold off until after midnight in the Champlain Valley. Uh, by the time we get to uh, ready for work on Monday, we're going to see a spotty showery pattern. But as we move into the afternoon, showers become steady and heavier, mainly over south of Burlington and uh, basically over the southern portions of Vermont. This moves out fairly quickly, and so Monday night we start a bit of a drying pattern. Tuesday, a beautiful looking day with that little area of high pressure working its way in, and then Wednesday, more showers from that next frontal system that's going to be going by. Our low in the Champlain Valley tonight, 41 degrees, clear skies, cold temperatures out there. Tomorrow's highs in the 70s, 72 degrees in Burling for the most part. A lot of us still in the 60s. We'll start the day off with sunshine. We'll fade behind clouds late morning, more clouds later in the day, and then showers holding off for most of us at least until about midnight tomorrow. As we look at the five day forecast, we see relatively mild temperatures for most of the days except for Monday. That's the showery day. We're in the 70s Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got some showers. I think the rainiest day of the week is going to be Friday. High temperature then only 69 degrees. We start the weekend off with a chance of showers at 71. And all important, the Vermont City Marathon is next Sunday. It looks like temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than what we saw last year. But overall, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good day to run a marathon. Jennifer?